precision engineering. We're now getting really serious with this guitar restoration because this is the bit where we start chiselling into the surface of the guitar and routing it. Oh my god. Um, I need to create as flat a surface as possible to glue the new bridge on for the maximum strength. And I'm going to route out the front of the guitar. There's too much chip out here, um, tear out of the grain, and it's all over the place. Trying to sand this down, it's, it's just not going to work. So, first thing I'm going to do is fill the holes in in the middle here and that will just be with a chisel and some little piece, bits of spruce and we'll just glue it in with a uh, tight bond I think. Then I've got to make a router template and I have my plans and we're going to route out the front of the guitar. How precisely I can do this, I'm dreading this. Oh, I've just got a feeling this is going to go horribly wrong. But I've got to try and take a whisker off the front of this guitar. Maybe, maybe as much as a millimetre, maybe only half a millimetre. I've then got to fashion a patch of spruce. And actually the spruce I've got, the strip of spruce I've got, I don't think is wide enough. It's just, fra it's just fractionally too narrow. So I'm going to have to join that spruce down the middle, just as you would with a soundboard. Oh, this is going to be fun. Um, but we're going to put a spruce patch in there, which will stamp out, and then I will probably just sand it flat with the surface of the soundboard. Um, so, fun and games. Oh, I really hope I don't wreck the guitar doing this. The bridge plate went in fine, but um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, the first thing is to chisel out these holes, square them up, and put little patches of uh, spruce in and then get a thing right over the top of that so uh, oh dear <laughs> wish me luck please thank you I'm going to try to make these holes as square and uniform as I can it will just help with preparing the patches that go in there will be some natural variance of course on a freshly ch sharpened chisel. Just being very gentle. I have a maple patch underneath here which I'm going to be cutting down to. as far as I want to go and I don't want to press too hard onto the soundboard of the guitar and split anything. It feels like I'm scraping away at glue which I guess was is to be expected. I'm guessing tight bond doesn't stick too well to glue, so I just need to make sure I've got rid of all the glue. Okay, it's got that nicely squared up, so now let's prepare some spruce to fit in those holes. The widest of the holes, this one is 7.34 millimetres, so if I prepare a strip 7.34 millimetres wide and then we'll cut it down as we go along. taken a quarter of a millimetre off. I'm going to take a little bit more off. And I've lost which way the grain is going. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, that's certainly taken plenty off. Okay, we're about four millimetres in the middle and three millimetres at the ends. about four millimetres, slightly less here. That should be good. Poor person's shooting board. It's my Perspex template with uh, very sticky with all the glue, which is handy for keeping the work held down. This is actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Nope, not quite parallel yet. The stickiness of, the, of this piece of Perspex is simply because of the double-sided tape that was stuck on it. I haven't actually, I didn't want to use double-sided tape for this because of breaking the, the thing trying to get it off. We're nearly there. I might leave it there and use sandpaper for the rest. Precision engineering. Complete overkill using the glass plate for this, but it will keep it flat. True it up. But on such small pieces, I doubt whether it really matters that much. Determined not to give up. There we go. What's the problem with trying to sand it this way is it's just going to round over the edges. Would it be overkill to get my belt sander out so I can just hold it steady against the belt? <laughs> the trouble is, how tight a fit do I want it? I, I'm sure I could push that down inside the guitar, inside the hole, but it would probably split the wood. I want it snug, but not over tight. I'm going to label this A for A string. That way I've got the orientation as well. It's nearly there, but I need to take a little bit more off, I think. I'm going to get this jammed at some point. We now have a set of plugs, but I'm wondering how tight they are. Oops, <laughs> got to be a little bit careful pulling these out. Because I don't want to split the wood. Hmm, that one's a little bit wedge shaped. I think I might do a little bit more refining on this. Time to get clamped up. Put a little bit of spruce on the clamp to act as a call. We'll leave that there. I'll, um, I'll glue them up, clamp them down, then remove the clamp, get all the squeeze out out, squeeze out out, and then re-clamp. Don't need much glue really. tweezers. <laughs> this is already messier than it should be. Uh, 
Wow, that's pressed completely home. Okay, let's see what happened. Reclamp that. Just gonna have a look if we've got any more squeeze out, but I think we're there. We can just clamp it up and leave it overnight. Yeah, there was a little bit more squeeze out. Then. Let's just let's just do a bit more clean up. There we go, leave that overnight and then comes the routing.